Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy uh, Happy Tuesday, everybody, on this 11th of June. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you, Chuck. Good to see you, Brian, Lawrence, Donna, everyone, Casey, everybody, all the Cyber Traders. All right. So listen, yesterday, I mean, I know Josh was talking about in the afternoon meeting, but yesterday was hands down just like, uh, you know, a typical Monday, slow in pre-market. But let me tell you, once the market opened up, I mean, it was like taking candy from a little kid on two super, super stocks, which we're going to talk about it. And a lot of you guys cleaned up on these stocks. First of all, I'm not even going to get to this one that's moving already because we got another one that's coming out of nowhere. Look at this stock right here. Less than a year ago, $450 up to 12. I mean, the stock is already up 60%, took a huge haircut, but that's not the big the big talk of the day. The big talk of the day are not one, but two stocks. Let's all start off with the PRVB. Now, this stock just came from nowhere. So let me just uh, let me just fix the time slot right here. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So this stock in pre-market was gapped up pretty nicely. All right. You can see right here was four dollars. It gapped up to ten, and then just from nowhere, nowhere, right around what nine. 40 maybe 935 it just went from like it just went bonkers went from 10 all the way to 22 now and you know what it didn't even really have a shake it just took off so everyone just basically killed it i know all of us were done around 10 30 if you maxed out on it and you could have chased this thing and still did great on it but I, you know and it was funny if you go to the, the video go to go to the youtube video from yesterday and watch what I was saying. I said, you know what? It's kind of like it it, it, it it was a little bit of a sleeper. It looked like it wasn't doing anything. But you know what? It's all about being at the right place at the right time. You know, trading, especially what we do when it comes to day trading, you know, it's all about, you know, people always ask you, where did you find this stock? You know where we find it. We're doing it what we're doing right now. Nothing has changed. But the thing is, you got to, you know, you got to. You know, it's unpredictable. Things just takes off on you, and you're just at the right place at the right time. You know, so what we call it in fishing, um, you know, here we call it the blitz. You know, if there's like a whole blitz and like you were there, you knew you were at the right place, the right time, but all of a sudden a whole school of fishes came up your area and boom, you know, you just hit lotto. It's just, that's what it is, you know, and you just got to you got to be there. You got to be there in the morning. You got to be prepared for it. But you know what? This wasn't even the real big winner, OK, because this one, there was something even less riskier. Um, with more reward, and it was the NBY. Holy cow, what the hell, where'd this come from? This stock was up a 1,000% in a day. Stock started at 40 cents, opened up about a dollar, literally had really no push, and all of a sudden, just like at 10.30, ran from a dollar to $3. Are you kidding me? And then look where it is now, went to 450. I mean, whatever drug it came out, obviously must be phenomenal. But anyway, that one's going back on the watch list, so that one did pretty well. And then uh, the last one I just want to bring up is the WKHS. Uh, so there's another one that we found. Hold on. Load up, load up. Okay. So this is another one, another very inexpensive, cheapy mover. You could see that went from 230 to 290. Big deal. Not as nice as the 1,000% winner, the 300% winner. You know, like I said, people think these are unicorns. They never seen one. When, they, when you come here to Cyber Train University, guess what? You just see you see them almost every day. Uh, it, thanks, Mike. I know it was a great call out. But once again, it's not – remember the whole goal about being part of being a cyber trader. It's not about me, okay? It's not about, you know, how – me making money it's about me teaching you how to play the game it's you guys fending for yourself uh, listen our job is to teach you how to stop losing money and learning from your mistakes not being greedy not trying to hit home runs every time you're up at bat it's all about just hitting base hits because guess what you are going to hit those home runs because you're at the right place the right time and you had an opportunity then now listen i say this all the time that is in the archives okay let's not go back and harp over it and like oh you know you know uh, this is you know a, a shot i'm not going to make that back again i missed it listen we do it every damn day okay so let's start all over again because you know we have a new day that started and we got a whole new list of stocks first let's start off with the J, uh, the, the the j a g x so you got a nice little movie here you know only this stock is was a very expensive stock got hammered 
you know um the only issue i have with it i'm, I'm looking here on my level three you can see that it, it it doesn't have that many iceberg orders out there and it spreads pretty big so definitely this is not your typical level one beginner stock you got it already looks like a level three type of stock and remember you always got to buy it use your limit orders when you purchase it another one mots another one popped up on my watch list but i spelled it wrong um what they say no not that one hold on uh the c b a y you bring up that one oh i spelt it out it was it was jacks uh m o t s why is it, what's not my window's not coming up type it in the wrong window hold on what i got going on over here all right NBY, okay, got that one working. <laughs> CBAY, bring that one up. There we go. All right, uh, do, do, do. I see him running slow this morning. There we go. All right, so C CBAY is taking a huge hit right here. Stock's down 44%. You know why I love bottom fishing, right? So this stock is taking a major, major hit. Only one issue. It's in the, uh, you know, in the medical industry, the pharmaceutical industry. We know that sometimes these things don't come back, but she is testing a major support levels, which is what, which very interests me pretty, that I like. Stock started around $5. So let's see, maybe a hold right here. Maybe you get a little dead cat bounce. I'm getting some great orders on the level three. So that one's going to uh, make the watch list. Um, another big thing I was reading, um, I was watching the financial stations and, you know, listen, I don't know about you guys, but I'm up at 530 in the morning doing my research for you guys. And one thing that's been really good, it's starting to tap in a little bit. They said gas is going to be dropping. And I mean, it was even on, uh, on the MSN.com uh, homepage that you know gas is going to probably be dropping pretty substantially had a nice little run so you know wh wh who gets affected by gas airlines okay so i would keep a very close eye on the airlines because i don't know if you know this but i think i heard 70 percent of your ticket is uh price is you know due to fuel cost so there's a couple of stocks that are moving i like to keep an eye on this jet blue i never you know we've run to the wild we'll kind of trade some of these but like uh, jet blue delta airlines uh, Southwest Airlines. Keep an eye on these airline stocks because, uh, you know, if gas goes down um, substantially, but what they're saying, these things could co basically make a nice little comeback. And uh, what else I got? I got? I think I got them all, right? Not that many so far on pre-market. We don't need them all. Here's MOTS, M-O-T-S. Up 16%. Nice little cheap little stock. It's got a little bit of a Fausto flag right there in the intraday chart, but you know, it does got a nice trend. Love the orders out there on level three. So we'll keep an eye on that. So not a huge list, but remember, look what happened yesterday. We didn't have a huge, huge list also. I thought it was actually going to be kind of quiet, but then sure enough, these things, somebody must have had an order and just popped out there. Just remember, guys, focus on your orders. You know, everybody here, you know, you hear a lot of people, oh, look at my Fibonacci indicator. Look at my, look at my scanner. Listen, we all know the fact is follow the money. That will tell you where the stock is going. When they start selling, you start selling. When they start buying, you stop buying. Don't let something, don't be, a, don't let a lagger tell you where it's going. You should be a leader and the leader is following the orders. And you saw how that really kind of helped us out yesterday. But also, most importantly, being here in the morning and find the right stocks. Now, um, with that said, everyone, um, we'll, uh, we got a lot of events that are coming up. Class is going to be starting up within next week. Uh, and also we got the on-site that's coming up in September. Don't forget about that. I know a lot of you guys registered. It's our biggest event of the year, our summit. So look forward to seeing you all there. In the meantime, uh, we have a lot of new members here. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Like we always say, guys, I know you, some, if you are new here, please don't buy anything. Just watch and look how everyone fends for themselves. That's the whole goal about being a good trader. It's not just being an, you know, it's not about having just a mentor, but also surrounding you with, 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 with great support. And you can see how, you know, how everybody does and thinks for themselves. And once again, that's who's the money you have to count because you could be one of them. And for everyone else, looks, just look, listen, and learn. And like I always say, everybody, um, see something, say something. Okay. All right, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. We'll see how it goes uh, in the morning. If you make good, take your money, run, go get your hair done, go see a movie. 
Godzilla, I heard I might go see it today at lunchtime if I can. I'm a big Godzilla fan. So uh, anything is an excuse to get away from trading because, remember, it's not a full-time job. Or take your spouse out for lunch. All right, we'll see you back in the afternoon. Just try to make it early. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Have fun.